It may very well be one of the most controversial companies in our country's history, Blackwater, the secretive private army that for critics came to represent the ugliest face of American power. Tonight you're gonna to hear from the man who founded and ran the entire operation. He's been accused of getting rich off of the deeply unpopular war in Iraq, but he says his critics have it all wrong. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, has the interview. They were a kind of shadowy army in the war on terror, a privately owned and heavily armed force led by this man. Did your people ever kill innocent civilians? It's entirely possible. Eric Prince, depending on how you see it, he's either a great American patriot used and then dumped by the United States government or one of the biggest war profiteers in the history of armed conflict. In the opening pages of his new book, Prince writes that his company became the ultimate tool in the war on terror. It was reportedly here on Prince's Virginia estate that teams of special operatives were trained for CIA-led assassination squads that would hunt down suspected terrorists wherever they might be found. And you have been on a target list yourself. Uh, yes, I was, uh, I was informed that I made the, uh, the OK to hit list. Today, Eric Prince would like you to disregard most of what you've heard about him and Blackwater. There became such a uh, cyclone of nonsense that would feed off itself, and it built us into a 10-foot-tall boogeyman, which just wasn't the case. And you were ready to return fire? I was ready to set the record straight. If you know the name Blackwater, you probably remember this. The contractors killed in 2004, their bodies burned and hung from an Iraqi bridge in a sickening display. The accusations, three years later, of indiscriminate shootings by Blackwater guards leading to the deaths of civilians. And then Eric Prince himself your right hand. called before Congress for a lashing. But if you expected Prince to apologize for anything that happened, think again. Some people will always hate the name Blackwater. They might not like me. I am perfectly comfortable with that. Eric Prince grew up in a wealthy and conservative Michigan family. His father, an immensely successful automotive entrepreneur. After a stint in the Navy SEALs, Prince decided in the late 1990s to use his inherited fortune to build a private training facility for military and law enforcement in the swamps of North Carolina. I love being a SEAL. I loved working with those kind of guys and the sense of mission. And Blackwater was started to continue that sense of mission. Then came the bombing of the USS Cole in 2000 and the terror attacks of 9-11 and Blackwater would grow rapidly into a vital security and support contractor for the Pentagon, the State Department, and the CIA. The guys protected all the State Department people, members of Congress, even Senator Obama when he was visiting there. But it all came spiraling down in a hailstorm of negative attention. You know you came under a lot of criticism about inflaming anti-American sentiment just because of the way you operated there. That's partially true because of the rules dictated by the State Department. You will drive a washed and waxed Chevy Suburban between a, point A and point B every day with lights and sirens on. It's pretty easy for the enemy to play whack-a-mole. If I've been in those convoys when you were protecting government officials when at you can't hide 100 miles an hour. When the enemy, when the enemy is coming at you, uh, those are the only tactics you have left. You signed the contract. Is, is that the way it should have been done? No, we would have preferred to run it the way we wanted to run it. How about fighting back and saying this isn't the way we should be doing this because it's going sure. to create... So it's the State Department's fault that there's anti-American sentiment. We tried, but, but we're, we're, at the, we're at the end of that tail getting whipped. Do you take any of the blame? My greatest regret is going to work for the State Department. If I sound uh, unapologetic, I guess I am. A State Department official today told ABC News that its agreement with Blackwater required the use of U.S. government furnished vehicles, but that the use of sirens was not a contractual requirement. Despite pulling in about $2 billion in government contracts, Prince bristles at portrayals of him as a war profiteer. After the endless lawsuits, fines, professionally and, and, and financially, it's like 13 lost years. But ABC News cannot verify any of that because it was a private company. 
The beginning of the end for Blackwater in Iraq was September 2007, when several of its contractors were accused of firing into a crowd of citizens in Baghdad's Nisour Square after a car bomb had exploded a mile away. At least 11 people died, including a nine-year-old boy. A handful of Blackwater contractors were charged with manslaughter. One pleaded guilty, the others are contesting the charges. In court papers, the government has alleged the guards opened fire with automatic weapons and grenade launchers on unarmed civilians. At this point, it's a highly political prosecution. It's just political, you think, at this point? It is. If the amount of scrutiny paid to that event was paid to every other shooting, it would tie up the Justice Department for the next, for the next decade. It was the incident that eventually led to Blackwater's expulsion from Iraq in 2009. But Prince now says that long before the company's reputation began to unravel, and for many years after that, Blackwater took on an even larger but less conspicuous role in the global war on terror. He is guarded about discussing details. What can you tell us about your relationship with the CIA? There was all kinds of things the company did, and there was things that I did personally. Blackwater teams were reported to be deeply involved in covert activities in Pakistan and Afghanistan until 2009, including the highly controversial use of unmanned aircraft to go after suspected terrorists. Was Blackwater involved in the drone program? It's been uh, publicly reported many times that the company was. And you would not dispute that? Well, the media reports a lot of it, and I'm, I won't dispute that one, no. And Prince claims that after the CIA cut ties with Blackwater, then-CIA director Leon Panetta outed Prince and Blackwater's secret role in a closed-door briefing to Congress, and it soon leaked to the press. What we had signed up to do was very serious work. We are asked to help, and then uh, to be outed by name to a very leaky Congress. That's unprecedented. A representative for Panetta tells ABC News that the former CIA director was required to brief Congress on covert programs and that he had no control over what happened to the information after that. The CIA declined to comment on its association with Prince. You talk about President Obama in the book and you say your connection to President Obama is, quote, closer than he has ever wanted to admit. What do you mean? Uh, just that there is some of these key programs that he was depending on. That he knew you were involved with? Probably so, yeah. Have you met him? Never. You write, I am no hero. The world knows all too well about my mistakes, but I was never meant to play the villain. Do you feel burned by the people who hired you to work? To a certain extent, yes. So there are regrets? Oh, yeah. Seriously, regrets. Wouldn't do it again? Uh, I'm not so sure that I would. I'm Martha Raditz for Nightline in Virginia. And Eric Prince's new book, Civilian Warriors, is in bookstores today.